Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow. Be hey. Just a quick shot today. Um, okay, that's not yeah, that's not the best looking, I'm afraid, but it'll have to do just for today. All right. Have a look at your person, Capricorn. Dramatically infatuated with you. I feel a bit of an energy coming from this wand. Wands represent fire energy. Um, I feel like in that position, the first position, it's making a bold statement. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups coming out. Two aces next to each other. You have some new beginnings on this person's mind. This person is really thinking about starting something fresh, starting something new. Or you could be attracting new love into your life that is beyond the person that you're thinking about. Aces signify new beginnings. And both of them together definitely carry some power with them. Look at that. A knight approaching. A knight is absolutely somebody... Uh, who is romantically interested in you and one approaching um, slowly and steadily. They're represented by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles moves slowly, but is very trustworthy. Things could have slowed down between you and your person, but look at that, picking right back up with the King of Cups energy. The King of Cups is um, someone who really has a lot of love, but doesn't quite... Feel the need to show it all the time. A uh, little bit repressed there because while he oversees matters of love and, you know, with this water energy, this emotion, he can't be too emotional himself, right? So whether you're dealing with a man or a woman, emotions uh, are something this person, obviously here with this Ten of Wands, uh, could be struggling to control at this time. You also have the full card here, more new beginning energy, as uh, you can see. Now, this could be as a result of this energy showing up here, Queen of Swords energy pointing to possibly you cutting this person off or them needing to talk to you. She rules communication, the Swords rule communication logic and things of that sort. So if somebody has cut you off or vice versa, expect that it's difficult on this person that we're picking up today and that they're looking slowly to approach you and talk to you about it. Um, certainly they want to change the chapter on something. I mean, you have all these representations here of new beginnings, changing the chapter. Uh, the full card is definitely a leap of faith energy, just taking that plunge, avoiding this conflict that's showing up here in this person's reading for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, I mean, for a lot of you, this person seems to have checked out, left, uh, distance has happened between the two of you. And I feel like this person feels guilty, feels burdened and feels like they want to repair and close that distance up a little bit. Even if they're staring at you right in your face right now, they know, right? There you go. Speaking of staring at you right in the face, the devil card represents Capricorn and that comes out right at the end of this person's reading. Uh, obviously this person is holding back, like I mentioned before, the four of pentacles showing that, but also the devil representing you coming out in their reading uh, is one that expresses a lot of obsession and perhaps um, infatuation with you. But again, a burden there in the center of the reading, this person feeling that it is difficult to let you know, to express themselves with you. You seem, yeah, very stoic, like a boss. You seem probably hard to talk to. 
when it comes to this person. This person views you as somebody who already has their stuff together. Um, that's a part of you that they can't get out of their mind. They're likely obsessed with it. Um, let's see what comes out for you in your deck. You also may be guilty of giving mixed signals, Capricorn. I hate to call you out in your own reading, but the Seven of Cups is coming out for you. That does not spell uh, the most straightforward and direct messaging. It does spell, especially coming right next to it, the Seven of Wands energy, it does spell that you have been giving a lot of mixed signals either to this person or within yourself, just trying to figure out where you stand, particularly as love is concerned. Uh, you seem also to have been very defensive at some point with this emperor and the seven of wands combination, sort of keeping people out. You have your danger zone, keep out sign on. Something has definitely gone on between the two of you. Tower card showing up here, um, indicating that the two of you have experienced something that could have rocked your world or theirs. And so, uh, you know, once bitten, twice shy is where you stand right now, Capricorn. You're saying, yep, look at that guarded energy energy two of swords coming out to support what I've just said. You're saying, listen, if I've been hurt once, I'm never going to be hurt again. Um, and you're taking that stand, keeping yourself, everything close to the chest, King of Swords coming out, uh, very late here, Queen of Swords had come out, King of Swords coming out saying, listen, um, I'm going to rule communication. I'm going to rule whatever happens to us. I'm not going to let anything slip out. You're definitely on the defense. You're looking like, you know, you're going to war. Some of you probably registered in the army, something institutional showing up here with the Hierophant card. The Hierophant card also signifies marriage. It signifies commitment. So you could be married to this person thinking of marriage to this person, or you could have met this person when they were committed to somebody else. And if it's none of those options, this marriage card is basically saying that you're not standing for anything less than something that is committed and official. You're putting your foot down. You want this person to, yeah, approach you the right way, to think about it, to reflect to meet your standards. You're kind of not messing around. That's what your reading is saying. I'm not messing around. If you're not going to come at me the right way, please don't come at all. The little cup that this page of cups is holding is not going to be enough for you. You're saying, give me more. And that's how you get that championship ring, Capricorn. Uh, your person is really uh, turned on by your boss behavior. Uh, they're thinking to themselves, how am I going to meet Capricorn where Capricorn is. And that's why they're being a little bit distant. Um, it's not because they're not interested. They're very much interested, but it's because they have a lot of excavation to do. They have a lot to sort of plan out with you, a lot to launch, and they have to figure out their strategy because right now, Capricorn, you are, you are appearing to this person like you're some sort of general in an army. All right. Um, we're going to move on to... Move on to Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, this is signaling to me a lot of pain and healing, a lot of pain and suffering needed. Your person has worked themselves half to death. They are really, really not sleeping at night. Nine of swords energy, uh, complementing that ten of swords or, or compounding it is really the word, um, really sacrificing themselves for the things they love and the people they love. Two of cups energy coming out there. This person seems a bit smitten with you, um, but something here feels difficult to continue in terms of your connection <laughs> nonetheless they are continuing you can expect this person to still remain engaged to still um approach you even if you've told them not to in fact i'm feeling like some of you have told this person uh that you are done with a particular aspect of how they do something and you've probably warned this person not to approach you and they're certainly doing so anyway. Some of you may have had a hard time or have been jealous of this person's activities with others. Uh, they seem to have engaged in some sort of celebration, hanging out, social activity with other people. 
that has rubbed you the wrong way. But this person seems very apologetic, very enamored with you. They're thinking about you nonstop at this time. The lovers, two of cups energy with the knight of cups is absolutely astounding. Uh, this is somebody who is certainly smitten and somebody who is confused about where you stand. Uh, you might find them sucking up a little bit uh, in the next few days. Um, this is to their favor. They need to know where they stand. They need to know if they still have that charm over you. Somebody here has launched some sort of missile. This person is feeling it in their bones. They feel like you're, you know, you're kind of mean. Uh, and similarly to Capricorn, they're like, well, it kind of turns them on a little bit, but they're aiming for something a lot healthier. They feel they, like your connection could use it. They do not feel this connection is healthy. Yeah. Nine of Wands energy coming out to support that. It's a little bit stressful on them. Something about their mental health is concerning here. Uh, however, they're still hanging in there. Six of Wands energy supporting that. Uh, they really want to kind of make this work with you. They really kind of want to talk to you. Eight of Wands energy on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's coming up for you Aquarius um you have to forgive me today I'm in a very uncomfortable position but I wanted to get this reading done um you actually are the one who seems to want things slowed down you seem to have slowed things down in the past few days you may have interest in more than one person or more than one person may have interest in you Aquarius you are really kind of the hot stuff at this moment it doesn't really matter whether you can see it or not uh, other people can see you other people can identify what makes you amazing and uh, you my dear are acting like you are completely clueless you're focused on your coins but trust and believe you have some admirers Aquarius uh, if you didn't know, now I'm telling you, you definitely have people who are admiring you. You have a network coming up. You have a social network. Some sort of gathering seems to be um, at your doorstep. Um, your family supporting you. Yeah. Uh, forgive my saying this, but you might have a rump coming up with your person. There is a very passionate connection coming up uh, and it looks like you will have more than one person to choose from. You might be leaving one person and turning your attention more so on another. You may also be leaving a locale and turning your attention on a new locale. Uh, I, I did tell you, of course, that there would be a rump, did I not? And now we have the devil card showing up there to support that. You have that in your energy. There's some sort of physical rump that is happening or has happened and is still on your mind almost obsessively, but it is significant and showing up here. Uh, it might be bothering some of you, that rump, that whatever it is that, that took place because you want to know what the next step is after it. So I will advise you that if you do get physical with anybody, you're very clear on what that relationship is so that you don't come out feeling like you have to obsess over why you had a physical rump, what the rump meant, what it will mean in the future, and so on and so forth. You, my dear, are looking for commitment and you want it to be long term. However, that has been a source of, I will say, argumentation uh, for you and possibly for your person. You two are sort of on the same page when it comes to flirtatiousness, approaching each other, romance, all of that. That is showing up. It seems like your person is on the same page there. Where you depart is... Uh, this rump situation. There's something that has happened between the two of you with that Ace of Wands energy that is suggesting that you are obsessed, obsessing, wanting a connection and feeling right here like this hanged man, a little bit stuck. You feel like things are slowing down, like this Knight of Pentacles is showing and you feel like you ought to walk away, but you're using work as a distraction right now. Your person is using people as a distraction right now. They don't necessarily like those people. You know whom they like instead. You, my darling, the lover's card showing up. Two of cups again, reinforcing that. Looks like they're coming back around with the six of wands energy. So we'll have to stick around and figure out what they do. Because they'll need to make a decision. All right. Let's move on to Pisces. I thought this would be a much more comfortable position. And it is actually not. What do I need to make this more comfortable for myself? That's the question. Let me see. All right. Let's see if this will work then. Ah, too hot. Too hot. It's too hot in here. All right. Let's have a go. Hi, 
Pisces, I'm going to have to shuffle off camera today because I'm not sitting in the most comfortable position. So I'm just going to have to do it off camera and hopefully I can continue this way. All right then. First card coming out, Pisces. Seven of Wands, Energy Pisces. Have a look there. This person is pushing you away. I don't know why. We have the Four of Swords on the bottom. This person is saying to themselves, listen, I have things to think about. I have to figure out where this is going. If it is not going in a direction that I feel is useful or helpful, I will have to cut it off. What is this Ace of Cups doing? I have no idea. This does not make any sense to me. On the one hand, this person is being defensive. On the other hand, they're saying there's a new beginning in love that they're looking for. Let me see with whom. Cards, can you answer that question for me? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Actually, let me let me do this in front of the camera for you guys. Um, but just know my back is hurting, so I can't do this the whole time. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. What the? Pisces, I will say this is a little bit more of a challenge. And I don't want you to get hurt. Let me, this is very unusual. I wouldn't yet pick up your deck, but uh, let me just see what's going on because um, this is a little bit of a challenge. I'll put it that way. It's a little bit of somebody who may unknowingly hurt you because they don't have the current. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. If that's your response, if that's what you want to do, you're bringing out the Six of Swords energy right there. And you're saying to yourself, listen, I'm noticing something different about this person. Uh, I'm noticing something different about my love life. And if it means that I have to walk away, turn my back, cause whatever distance, then that's what I'll do. And that's your first response. And that's very good because I was a bit worried when I saw this combination here. Uh, you know, definitely with the Ace of Cups, there is emotion. There is love. It's even a new beginning, right? All aces signify that. But with this combination, it's not just, oh, ace of cups, new beginning. It's somebody who here is saying, I have to push you away because I can tell something in their own energy, in their own consciousness. They're seeing an ending and they're saying, I don't want you to get hurt. Pisces, you must be some type of intuitive because your your first response is, you're right, darn it. I don't want to get hurt, so I'm going to skedaddle and get out of here. However, this reading is probably happening because as you can see at the center of the reading, there's still this Ace of Cups. There's still emotion going on here and we still kind of have to figure out. Yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised this wasn't the first card. Because this is exact, this basically summarizes this. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they didn't even need to pull all this. All they needed to tell me was this, you know, because this is talking about their lack of clarity. They're not really knowing where this journey is taking them. Pisces is also like, I don't know where this journey is taking me. And that's why I'm going to cause some distance between myself and this person. Um, they're, they're missing you like crazy. It's actually becoming clearer to me from watching them that part of the reason why they want to push you away for a lot of you is because of their finances uh, this is somebody who is experiencing a lot of loss in their life possibly to do with a job yeah not surprised at all nine of pentacles coming out there signifying independence uh, usually nines are independent numbers and when it's pentacles you know we're talking here with the five of pentacles plus the nine of pentacles that's a lot of pentacles and a lot of bouncing out somebody hiding something i wouldn't say necessarily uh to hurt anybody but basically going through a challenge now financially all the cards supporting that four of pentacles energy is definitely budgetary this is our miser card this little miser man here five of pentacles energy same kind of thing with unemployment brokenness loss and dejection coming out there uh, i think this person is going to send you a message that attempts to put push you away these are wands still of the same suit uh the page of wands and the seven of wands energy uh really matching there so i expect this person will do something to push you away and make you feel like the connection is over 
but that's deceptive because of that Ace of Cups energy there, hiding their true feelings. You have a sense of what's going on. High Priestess energy should come out for you, but it's coming out for them. Uh, this is their intuition. This is also their sense that you can sense, which you can. I, I won't be surprised uh, when I do your spread to see a high priestess um because for you to give me that six of swords already lets me know that you kind of have an idea of what your person is going through they have three of wands by the way at the bottom of their deck which means they're keeping you waiting on something don't try to be a he a hero or a healer uh with that judgment card obviously this is my red cross card and some of you feel like and i just said so magician on the bottom you feel like you can be the one who imparts happiness and all those things into people's lives, but you do so at your own detriment. So I want you to be careful with that. I don't want you to feel like you're out here to save anybody. I think people can save themselves, Pisces. Um, as much as you want to distance yourself from people, sometimes you find yourself right back in their fangs. Uh, you should be working on your money as well, because if you do, there's an omen that's showing up there for you. The Queen of Pentacles, they're blessing you with all of those coins um she is saying that should you choose to focus on your money and on your wealth um you won't miss this person so much which a lot of you are showing that you do five of cups energy guilt missing this person also reflecting a lot thinking about them night and day look at that six of cups energy reflecting back to the one that you love i mean this is almost like a very sad reading because both of you are struggling and having a hard time whether it's financially or emotionally and you're not really opening up and talking to each other about it you're kind of pushing each other away you're definitely out of the picture things have slowed down between the two of you uh you're thinking to yourself i want to give up on this but you know something here keeps you uh, I feel like you're being breadcrumbed and you're hanging on to every crumb you get. Even if the message is two seconds long, you still savor it, right? Uh, your pride is not letting you release. For some of you, you want to prove to this person that, that you're better than any of the options that they could consider. Uh, this is a lot of caddy energy, two queens here. You want to prove to this person with all your might that you are a choice for them. So you are settling for crumbs despite the slowdown here in this connection. So I'm going to relax. I'm going to try not to move my back. So that means I'll be shuffling off camera. Let's see what we can do here without moving too much. Your person. Oh, wow. Thinking of you, huh? That's the Emperor card. Uh, it's Aries in tarot. The Emperor signifies uh, Aries in tarot. Your person having you in their energy with the first card showing up. Uh, very interestingly, he's thinking about you being restless about it, particularly at night. And yet I do feel there's a bit of stubbornness on their part as well. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords at the bottom. Something here is really on this person's mind, aching them, in fact. Let me see, does it have to do with you? I mean, you, you are showing up here. For some of you, this person is really just thinking about their money. That's a theme for all of the signs I've read so far. But I think that there's an emotional disconnect between you and this person that they're trying to sort. And that is really, hmm. That could really be tied to... Uh, their decision to move very soon or to make a particular change in their life that they've been thinking of making for a while. Uh, this will take them to a next stage. Yeah, I can see how this could be a major decision. This person is developing themselves. This is institutional. The Hierophant card uh, signifies a lot of institution. A marriage card It's in the center of the reading. This person has some major changes coming to their life. They have 
all these major arcana cards, uh, you know, showing up and they don't want to cause, you know, a particular style or sense of conflict with people around them who tend to gossip, it seems, and get into their ear. This is, uh, okay, this is pulling my attention. One, two, three. You have four major arcana cards now stepping up. Major arcana cards are usually symbols of major chains, uh, changes in someone's life that which is above, so shall it be below. There are things happening in this person's life. Um, and I think this person is looking for commitment. Someone has gotten into this person's ear and told them that they need to grow up. And as they are growing up, I don't care how old they are, they could be 75 years old. Um, they're trying, yeah, yeah, that's very interesting. They're trying to look for their happiness. Why is this such a struggle? What, okay, King of Pentacles at the bottom. Now, there's going to be a financial decision here, for sure, tied to whatever their happiness is. Why Why is it coming out in a love reading? What has their financial status got to do with Aries? Let me see what your deck will show. I'm still shuffling your deck, Aries. I just have to do it off camera because I'm, I'm basically lying down. All right. Okay. Oof, that's a very slow pace, I'm afraid. Um, it's slow and steady. You may have shown this person a reason to be guarded and to sort of change the way they do things, to boss up, okay? This person wants to boss up is what they want to do. And I think they took their cue from you. But Aries, I will have to call you out a little bit because I'm feeling from your energy that you may have paraded a certain standard, whether you yourself had that standard or not. Now this person is taking things a little too far. Now they're like, oh, wait, Aries is all pentacles. Now I have to be the king of pentacles. Now I have to show off. I have to be showy. I have to. And all of that is causing this person to lack sleep, stay up at night, think about it, get into conflict with others, really develop themselves and really be fired up here. Ace of Wands energy fire in their, uh, in their reading. You, on the other hand, are struggling because you've been through several cycles with this person over and over again, trying to figure out what direction this is taking. Um, wow. five! I don't understand your Five of Cups, Aries. I don't understand that card. Because in that position, it would seem as though you're saying, well, this person kind of slowed things down and now I'm sad, as though you're the victim, Aries. Your person doesn't see you that way. Do you see what I'm saying? They don't see, they see you as a reason for their search, for their own way to do things, for their bossing up, for their, you know, quest for happiness. You're trying to bring them back. You're trying to go another round. You don't even care if it's toxic. You want another round. Um, you're conflicted. Wow. You may have had some advice from other people, but right now it doesn't seem like you're emotionally doing well, Aries. It seems like you're torn about something. You have too many fives coming out, five of swords, five of cups. You have the nine of pentacles coming out, which is showing very single energy. Uh, a lot of you are single as a Pringle. And, you know, even if you do have somebody in mind, you feel like you've been operating alone. You're yearning for collaboration with somebody. You want more friendship. You want more connection. Even if it's on a platonic level, that's what you're looking for because too many people have left you. You feel distant. You feel like uh, you're not surrounded by enough support. You need a support system. This one's calling my name. Yeah, you want that romance in your life. You want your pick. You want choices. Um, that has not happened for a while. So you're feeling a little bit dismayed and put off. Uh, don't lose hope in love just yet. Um, you're living right now on nostalgia, okay? Your Six of Cups energy coming out, feeling stuck. Yeah, there's nothing exciting really moving your life forward. I mean, I even see, yeah, I see the hermit peeking out and underneath, like somewhere in your subconscious, you're thinking, when will I have this commitment? Will I have it with this person? It's coming out way too late in your reading, so I cannot really pair it. 
uh, even this is a bit too late in the reading to get the sun and everything. I just don't think now is the time that you are aligned with your person. I think that the cards are saying that you need to go work on yourself and deal with these uh, inner conflicts as well as this feeling of sadness and depression that, you know, seem to be coming out in these cards. Because a lot of you are, le are just leaning on the past a little bit and you know, trying to recall it, trying to make sure that you don't let go of certain memories. You want to go round and round and round with this world card. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't even see that. You want to go round and round with this world card uh, over and over again, dealing with the same people and things. And sometimes that serves you, sometimes it does not. Oh, I don't know if I can make it. My eyes are not. Oh my God. Let's see. Let's see if I can keep going. My eyes are killing me. All right. I wish I could open a window at least, but I'm scared to do that. All right, let's just keep going. All right, back hurts, back hurts. So I'm gonna lean back, shuffle off camera. All right. Oh, wow. That's the hanged man, Taurus. Um, do you know what? I don't, I don't love that as a first card, but we'll see what other cards come out after it as a first card that feels a little stuck to me. And sometimes that's needed. I feel like your person is saying, I need this break. Um, this is something I need to take for myself. I need to really go inwards. The hanged man is also a bit of a spiritual card. Uh, Sometimes, you know, one has to turn oneself upside down to kind of take a reflection, which is what this person is saying and doing. They're saying brutally and honestly, I need this time to myself. Just said that nine of pentacles coming out to confirm. That's a very independent number of nines, a very independent in tarot. Nine of pentacles signifying a solo energy, definitely independent, regardless of whether you are with this person or not. Uh, there is some sense that this person is operating independently of you and needing to do so. They do not need to be suffocated by somebody else, and that is fine. Uh, with the Page of Swords coming out, this is a spy crap card. This person is keeping their eye on you. They want to know what you're doing, despite their feeling like they need to take time for themselves. It's a double-edged sword um, because, yeah, now the Tower card is coming out. Now that's surprising. Why the Tower card will come out, I have no idea. You two must have gone through some sort of falling out that this person is still thinking about. Um, they're also still wondering whether things can be mended and how to uh, figure, you know, how to get back into your life and into your good graces. There you go. Ace of Cups energy signifying that new beginning that yearning that I was talking about to get back into your life and start something new, leave things that are old in the past and begin again with this ace. Aces typically signify new beginnings and that's what this person wants with you. They want to figure out how to do things in that way. Now let's pull another card. Um, wow, three of swords coming out. Okay, that is really a shock. Where is that coming from? That's an unspoken baggage, my darling. This person is hurt over something and they feel like most of the time they can't really lean on anybody 100%. So they feel like the only person they can really lean on is themselves. And whenever they get into a pickle, particularly whatever this tower energy represents, you know, that's especially when they get into themselves. Nine of Pentacles energy signifying that along with the hanged man. That is really taking time to yourself, by yourself to reflect on you know, what options you have to take, right? This is the, ref I can't believe these cards. They are crazy. They really match so perfectly well. Four Swords coming out there, definitely a rest and relaxation card. Some, something that signals that your person is taking time to themselves to kind of rest, relax, think about what moves to make both with you and in their lives. Definitely a little bit of a baggage issue showing up there, but yeah, all of this is silence. 
uh, for, for a majority of you, this person is definitely not even speaking to you. You can't have the high priestess, the four of swords, you know, the hanged man, the tower and the nine of pentacles and the three of swords and tell me that there isn't a shake up or silence or break up either already happening or on its way. So yeah, this might be the culprit here. This knight of swords is a little bit of a cantankerous energy sometimes can be very combative, can signify some sort of argumentation. But I do think this person um, has been serious about, you know, how much they want to give their time and energy to other people, right? And so right now they're weighing the worth of this connection. Two of Pentacles energy showing up as well as the moon and the devil right in the middle of the deck as I cut it. Uh, because I think this person is getting serious and almost obsessively so about whom to trust. This is not a high trust individual, not with that seven of swords kind of peak, peak, um, showing itself there. OK, uh, now let's have a look at let me see what your cards will say. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I kind of, I kind of figured that you know, he would be the culprit. This Knight of Swords energy. This seems to be some sort of combativeness between the two of you, that has either happened historically or will happen in the future. I mean, this is not this this energy does not seem very new to me. It seems like. This is something that you're used to already with this person. This person already knows. This person already acts that way. You already act that way. Nothing new is happening here. Uh, you've apologized for something. It seems like you're taking responsibility for something. I don't know whether you should or not, but it seems like you're extending yourself and offering a little peace offering right there with the Page of Cups energy showing up and you are stating as well with the full card listen i'm ready to leave whatever needs to be left behind behind and i'm ready for this new chapter that is what the full card signifies that newness that leaving behind that getting back to the playfulness again especially because you two have been serious yes absolutely the restart button that's what we call this ace of pentacles boop, coming out to show that you would like to restart things i think both of you like the idea of a restart it's just you have different styles and paces and timings on how you would like to see that happen uh you know you may be a knight of pentacles they may be a knight of swords and i think you're slowly recognizing that both of you are recognizing your strong points six of pentacles energy very charitable on your side um, but when things don't go your way, Taurus, you tend to feel as though your person barely even can stand you. You're saying, oh, this person doesn't like me anymore. Meanwhile, all I want to do is get my rocks off and get connected with this person and show them how much I like them. Well, I'm telling you, this person does have emotion, but can go through lots at the same time. All right. Ten of Pentacles showing up. For you, Taurus, this is indicating that you are working on yourself. It's a little bit of a self-development card, although you do want something committal and you want to take things all the way, don't you? You really do. You want to build tens of very maximal numbers in tarot, okay? All right. You know, it's probably not a bad idea to charge my phone one second. Can I not? Oh, can I? Oh, it won't let me. All right, that's fine. Hopefully it won't die. Let me see how much charge I have left. Hang on. That's something. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's keep going. All right, let's have a look, Gemini. Um, 
is a straight. Gemini, I'm going to fall back a little bit. Just shuffle the cards off camera today. Okay, let's start with your person on the right. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. I'm going to sit up. Is causing me to shuffle off camera. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, that's unexpected. The lover's card. That signifies you in tarot. It also signifies it also signifies choices that this person has to make. And uh, this is definitely soulmate energy. It's energy that's um you know, they're soft and sweet. I believe, you know, with the page of wands having flashed just now, I feel like this person is going to send you a message. It's one that I think will be very straightforward. I think it's boop, about restarting, right? The Ace of Pentacles being that restart button. It's a brand new beginning. Aces always are. Uh, this is very good energy to start. And I think this person is, is exhibiting this energy because that's where they're on. They are really... Good vibes only. Look at that. They want to move ahead, move past something, not talk about it anymore, not dwell on it. They want to get to a healthy place with you, Gemini. Um, because, yeah, they've been very much internally co conflicted about whatever decision that you've made or uh, have threatened to make. And uh, they know something is telling you that it's like this person is saying, I know that I'm better than that. You know, I know that... You know, I can do better than that. Yeah, it seems for a lot of you, uh, this person is being strategic, remorseful about certain things that, is, that have happened. They're waiting for the right time to come forward and say something and tell you, um, this is crazy. This is exactly the card of coming forward and saying something. This is Eight of Wands. Their signifying communication is coming up for you, Gemini. Uh, you will have a talk with your person. Your person is actually being very strategic about it and trying to figure out how to set their words. I think some of you have already had that conversation and it could have been very cantankerous, very fiery energy showing up on your person's side. Uh, lots more fire coming out that Ten of Wands. That's what that signal, uh, well... Uh, wands are fire energy but the ten of wands is really all about the burden you know that i think your person is facing after having uh to carry certain things on their own back whether it has to do with them or to do with the both of you i feel this person is healing right now this is a good time for them to heal they're thinking about you but they're healing and it's not impossible to do both the star card definitely represents that the star card is also indicative of somebody who is very well admired right they could be literally a star you know have that energy but in this case yeah i do feel this person is in need of healing right because I don't know what happened to devastate them so badly, but Seven of Swords coming out cannot be a good indication. It means that this person is no longer trustful of whatever it is that has happened between the two of you. They are no longer trustful of a certain outcome. They feel the need to control that outcome to make sure that what happened between the two of you does not get to happen again. All right, Gemini, let's have a look at your side. Oh man, this looks like you're not talking. It looks like you're a bit withdrawn from your person and from the world. You're taking a little bit of time to craft yourself, to think things through. Uh, you don't have any hard feelings against anybody, but you really, to me, it looks like you want to go inward and develop yourself. That's what you want to do. You don't want to BS anymore. You want to go inward and develop yourself, right? You're saying the days of childhood are over. The past is over. When it was time to be a kid, I was a kid. And now that I'm an adult, I will be an adult. That's what you're saying in these cards. <laughs> but that's really funny because these two cards together, the Six of Cups and the Four Energy, really do signify a lot of childhood. So I think some of you are really reminiscing over childhood, stressing over it, wishing it would come back, feeling stuck as if you've not accomplished certain things in your career or in love, Gemini. And I will tell you, you know, it's natural to have these feelings, but don't stay stuck there for too long because obviously it's not true, right? Just because certain things have slowed down just does not mean that they will never happen. I feel the need to tell you that, Gemini. Um, you need to have your faith, yeah. 
Well, a lot of you are definitely feeling very defensive right now. You probably had some sort of, you know, argument or ending with the person you have in mind. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the death card. Um, you also, wow, look at you looking for commitment there with the marriage card, the hair font coming up. Uh, you're saying to yourself, listen, I deserve uh, all the best. I deserve commitment. So, yeah. I'm not going to settle for less. Listen, Gemini, I feel you're the person who's going to be doing a lot of the coming around in this situation. Yeah, I feel that you have more control and more happening in your life that makes you uh, the person who is kind of driving this, right? Both of you find something in each other that is really unique and wonderful. And I think your person thinks very highly of you with this star card. But I certainly think, Gemini that you are uh, putting in a lot here. You're hoping that this person comes back around and you're hoping that they give you a level of commitment that is very, very serious. Do not push too hard, as you know already, um, because this person, obviously, when they get pushed too hard, they seem to flee. Now, of course, if you want to push too hard, Gemini, you can. Everybody doesn't deserve everybody else so you can take whatever tempo you want but just expect some new beginnings and a new conversation happening with your person all right oh no 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 no! hang on hang on hang on hang on this is overheating All right, I'm gonna shuffle off camera to preserve my back. All right, we're seeing here cancer, someone who is considering their options for whatever reason. Um, you know, this card has been very prevalent in today's reading. This person uh, seems to lack a direction, uh, is experiencing some murkiness here in terms of where they stand. They may say one thing and do another. It seems like they're breaking your trust, um, not because it's deliberate, but because there's something here that they have to carry on their own. It's a path that they're walking on their own, a problem that they have to solve without anybody's help. And that seems to be a general theme for a lot of these readings today. Um, but it looks like this person is still very much concerned and connected to you with that Knight of Cups energy. This is someone who is approaching you in love, someone who is very uh, well aware of your worth. And um, it's so funny. I was just going to say, and wants to give a bit more. Six of Pentacles, they're coming out to confirm that. They want to really, uh, with that energy, which is very charitable, I think they want to extend themselves a little bit more, but I just don't think they know how. Again, confirmation with the Two of Cups energy right in the middle of this reading that this is somebody who does not take you very lightly. They take you seriously. They want you to know that. Um, when it comes to work here with this Eight of Pentacles, I think what happens in this connection with this particular person their intentions are good. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, right? Even Six of Pentacles. But what happens is that when work gets into the way, the effort that they mean to put into whomever they're interested in just gets distracted and it gets, well, work is not a distraction, but it gets put into whatever it is that they're working on at the time. You know, they get distracted from love and from romance, but it doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that this person doesn't have a way of managing their time, effort, and energy. Look at that four of wands coming out. This person saying, I am all for you, okay? I'm all in. Uh, I would like to balance. I know that is a wise and sound thing to do. I would like to have a conversation with you, Queen of Swords, energy confirming. Um, however, Burden with work, burden with focus, burden with knowing, having clarity uh, is all stepping into this person's way. And they're really just 
sort of hanging in there and they're very independent doing it on their own it looks like um yeah i mean this is you the chariot and it's so fun i just said that you know the thing about these nines because it's nine of cups energy and this nine of pentacles is this showing in the camera yeah i was just saying that this person is very much about keeping people out and doing it on their own figuring it out on their own um and until the until they figured things out they do not tend to let people in um which is very tricky because you it may make you think that they're not interested or not concerned um and i don't see that being the case i mean four of wands be marriage commitment solidity you know and two of cups you know signifying the emotions that they have for you they're still coming around you know they just have to sort themselves you're keeping yourself busy looks like you'll be getting a new opportunity by the way and work very soon some of you have started a new opportunity and are finding that it is wow it is knocking you off your focus as well so i can't really let this you know let your person carry this burden i think both of you have a lot of straightening out to do it's something that has gotten you very quiet over there for swords energy you're you're already saying oh man i'm in need of rest and relaxation and you're not talking as much so you might actually not even be talking to your person at this time yeah you're missing them though you have a fear here my darling of losing out on making money that's a very dejected hopeless feeling i don't know why you have that complex but it looks like a financial complex this fear of not knowing where your next paycheck is coming from Look at that hair font coming out in the middle of your reading, uh, just confirming that you're looking for an opportunity to bond with someone and remain bound uh, in marriage or commitment with that person. You're hoping that you get a new start, a new chapter with the person that you have in mind. You could have already been interested. See, you know, with these marriage energies coming out and this sense of confusion, both of you could have been already taken uh, when you met each other. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who had commitment issues. And you yourself, Cancer, could have lacked um, the bravery to stay committed, maybe because you weren't there yet financially. Looks like this is a spycraft card coming out. Some of you may be spying on your person using all sorts of methods. Um, you've been trying to talk a lot more to your person than they have been listening. And I know that could be possibly frustrating. You're wishing, hoping, praying to manifest their energy. But it looks like a lot of you are not speaking to this person. Not with that hermit and the four of swords, okay? Um, you're, you're, you're actually aching, wishing, and hoping to speak with them with that eight of wands energy showing up here. Uh, the cards are telling you your time will come. Focus on your work energy. Queen of pentacles. Uh, this person needs their own focus as well. I think it's funny both of you pulling the seven of cups energy. It's just literally both of you needing to release a little bit and get your focus back on that money, on that work, especially, yeah. With your person, they're doing the right thing here. Eight of Pentacles energy. All right, Leo, let's shuffle your cards slightly off camera here today. Um, Fully off camera, I should say. All right. Let me position myself properly. Hang on. All right, Leo, your person. You have, wow, ten of... The ten of pentacles. But you know what? Tens are very much maximizers in tarot. Um, sorry, yeah, I paused there, didn't I? Um, even though this is a maximizing energy, the way I read it, you know, if you notice these 
Romanesque pillars, right? This is a self sort of learning card for me. This goes into self-development as much as it goes into the maximal sort of foundational investment in somebody else. It's a strong card. It's one uh, that signals that this person is invested in you, right? Especially with those pentacles indicated. But then you have the tower following this card, an indication here that this person is rocked from the very bottom of their soul. Something here has happened that is explosive between the two of you and this person doesn't seem to be able to get over it, right? It's not with the Six of Cups. They're indicating that there is a memory issue here. This person's sort of being nostalgic about what has happened and is really not able to release in the way that you might expect them to. This is somebody who... Um, may have been spooked and did not see something coming so hard and fast. Yeah, Eight of Wands energy indicating that they're looking to have a chat with you. A conversation is imminent between the two of you. I think you two will have a sit down and I think this person will have things to say to you that are profound. Um, you will find for many of you that this person has turned over and you leave something catastrophic has been a catalyst in their life to cause this change, um, you also have them really in their heads a lot, right? Eight of Swords energy with them ruminating and wondering um, whether this investment is something they want to do moving forward. You have Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, and wow, a Five of Wands energy. Where's all this conflict coming from for this person? It's, it's certainly people in their ear, it seems. Um, that is causing them to take moves or to make moves that they didn't, I don't think they anticipated making it, right? Especially if it was in the negative and produced a negative outcome. I think, I think that there's certain people in this person's life in whom they trust, right? They've known those people for a long time. Six of Cups energy indicating a little bit of a past. Um, the Five of Wands energy is that outer conflict that they're picking up from those other people who are informing the way they view relationships. And I think they want to do right by you, right? With this Justice card, they, they don't want to harm you. They don't want to do anything wrong. They don't, I don't see then why they should be listening to so many outsiders, but that's just the nature of this person. I think you can expect them to come back right around there with the Six of Wands energy as they should. Uh, I think the wheel is still turning for them. They're still sorting things out. And uh, you will hear from them communication-wise, Eight of Wands energy, you will hear from them pretty soon, Leo. Now let's go on to your cards. Um, I just said that, Page of Wands energy, a message coming in, all pages are messengers. You have that uh, fire page showing up here the you know your site fire sign and the wands definitely symbolize fire in tarot that page of page of wands energy is your first energy because i think you're anticipating a message from your person or you're thinking about sending one yourself you have a lot of love for this person but you feel like you want to feel safe expressing it there's a huge safety issue in whether or not you're permitted to express the love that you feel. You feel somehow that you have to sort of hide or be silent. The King of Wands, I'm sorry, the King of Cups is not very vulnerable, uh, but is filled with love, right? But cannot act as a page, cannot show just how much love. Uh, you know, the King has to be in control of his emotions. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Now we're also looking at the Five of Swords energy there. Uh, showing me that you are torn there you know you are torn there is some internal conflict that's happening um the temperance card indicating to me that yeah yeah you would be waiting for the right time you would be waiting for the right time to take an action because you seem here to have had a severe timing issue with this person that we're pulling up today and so your wish your hope your prayer is that whatever timing issue whatever barrier has taken place between the two of you can be solved um without you having to grovel to beg uh to express you know any sort of um emotion that would make you feel 
too desperate or embarrassed. Um, you're trying to be strong here. I can see that with the Leo coming out strength card. Um, and you're also trying to be very patient temperance, right? Okay. Well, there you are flexing yourself there again. King of Wands energy, typically representing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the fire sign. I think your pride is taking over. Your pride is stepping in here, Leo, to protect you from any sort of embarrassment in this situation. Uh, it kind of makes sense, uh, given, given that, uh, the, the, the King of Wands is very prideful, However, it might cost you because you have two, um, I think you just have two different love styles in this connection. One person is much more practical. The other person is emotional. These two kind of clashing in the way that they express love, the King of Cups and the King of Wands energy there. Um, we shall see what happens. All right, let's move on to Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's get started with your person. Oh, the Ten of Swords is flipped for your person, but we are still shuffling. And I, I think so is this person. Hang on. position myself all right the empress card is showing up here indicating your person is in their place of abundance they have a lot of admiration for you and they may have a change coming up in their life considering that's a major arcana card they uh feel like investing in you in some is something that could yield a lot of abundance in their life this combination is incredible the empress and the ten of cups I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles is an enrichment that they're going through. Um, they feel like knowing you brings an abundance to them. They don't want to feel left out um, in whatever it is that you're doing. They want to feel connected to you. It seems like this person is really concerned with, you know, sort of being in tune with whatever you have going on. Hang on. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's strange after everything I've just said. This person is detached. Yeah, this is a detachment. Uh, which is unexpected given that they've expressed the sense of abundance, the sense of not wanting to feel left out of your abundance, the sense of investment in you. The second row is making no sense. Because essentially what they're saying now is, despite the connection I feel with you, as much as I want to invest in you, somehow there is something here that detaches us. This person misses you terribly, but feels very distant from you in a way that is now looking bigger than what they can overcome, right? Because initially I told you, oh, this investment was great. They could overcome it. Now it's like to go from the Empress to the Five of Pentacles, that is bankruptcy, okay? Um, still, I think this person is hopeful. I think they'll come back and clear the air. on whatever it is that's needed. Um, yeah. This person is giving me whiplash. Look at that. Now back to the lover's card, uh, which talks again about, you know, really choosing you, relying on you, and uh, probably being remorseful for having kicked you out of their heart, mind, or whatever. Yeah, for this toxic 
you know, sort of behavior over here. <sighs> Very interesting person. This person is split like this, two of wands. One minute they're cold, the next minute they're warm. How do you go from Empress to the, to the devil? The person is acting very much split, very down the line, very uh, bipolar in some cases. All right, let's shuffle your deck. All right, <laughs> you're agreeing. You have a decision to make. You're also flashing that two of pentacles, um, being split, not being sure. Don't let, don't let your person's energy drive you crazy. Look at more splitting, two of swords coming out, you know, um, you're sensing that something is wrong here. And so now you're being guarded. You're, you're definitely not investing in your person. Uh, you're doing the exact opposite. You miss a passion that you once had, not just with or for this person, but just kind of in love in general. You're like, where is that energy of just falling in love, being passionate? Um, uh, your twos are out of this world. You are really being split right now. You have the two of pentacles, the two of swords, and the two of wands. Um... You also have the Eight of Swords. Okay, listen, you're pulling all Minor Arcana cards. Minor Arcana cards are cards that indicate the everyday. They don't indicate any sort of major changes happening in your life. So I think you're just dealing with petty issues or you're feeling like what you're getting, you know, in general when it comes to love. It's just petty stuff. Look at that. This is very petty, very miserly. Uh, just not enough. You know, like I said, you're missing that magic and that reason to hold on to somebody. These are the two major arcana cards, the strength card, wheel of fortune there. Still turning, still letting you know that you have a new beginning coming up, Virgo. Don't you worry about it. You're definitely split in mind. I'm not it's crazy. I mean, two swords, two pentacles, two wands. You're definitely split in mind about whether to even carry on with this tarot nonsense and this love nonsense and this person nonsense. On the one hand, you are very much invested. On the other hand, you sort of you are like, listen, I'm just too. I'm better than this. I don't. I don't really need love. <laughs> because I okay Libra it is your turn Libra let me get this out of the way actually we don't need it all together Libra, you don't really feel like your love life is moving at this point. You feel a bit tortured. Your person feels a bit tortured if you have one. Um, I don't think you see any prospects. Something here is frozen. Uh, the brutally honest truth is that your person feels frozen to me, um, almost non-existent. Your person is very prideful, somebody who earns or wants to earn. Sometimes this person is a bit showy. Uh, appears to the world as much more than who they really are. It doesn't matter if the person's a man or a woman. Um, yet in reality, look what's coming out. There's that Four of Pentacles card, something that indicates a bit of a uh, miser, somebody who doesn't have as much as they are pretending to have, um, whether it's emotionally or physically. So you want to kind of watch your step there. I feel like this, per this person is transparent about it though. I feel like they um, 
are very blunt about who they are. I think they show you that, they show their close circle that, and it's actually other people who perceive them that way. So it's like other people generate a narrative about this person um, because of what they're seeing. They say, hmm, this person is good looking, so this person must be X, Y, Z. Um, and so they've taken to that. It's like, well, other people are calling me that. I never called myself that. This is the truth of who I am. So there's a clash there, a conflict, lots of fire energy coming out. Five of wands, six of wands, king of wands, energy, um, lots ruminating inside of this person. I feel that there is a difference in love language. Uh, the swords and the, the wands are two different styles of communication the swords has a lot to do with language there's a language barrier there there's also uh wow there are also multiple parties involved here yeah um it looks like your person wants to choose you um somebody feels like a know-it-all here to me somebody is a know-it-all and a busybody and is interfering with Very interesting. Very, very interesting. What's going on here? This person may have, what? Okay, so first of all, this is you. I'm sorry, but you may be the know-it-all Libra. I think your person was previously involved with somebody who was equally beautiful or well endowed or whatever. This is the coupling. This person looked good with somebody else. For some reason, this person felt stuck with this somebody else. They're coming into your life or have already come into your life. Something about you has gotten this person smitten. You seem to be the know-it-all. You seem to have a level of knowledge that turns this person on. For some reason, this person is turning their wand on you. They have fire in their chart. I hate to call out signs, elements, or energies of people because it's practically pointless. There are too many energies for anybody to call out signs, Zodiac, with tarot. But it turns out that this person could have been committed before to somebody else, like I said. That's why this baggage is here. That's why there is some issue here with depression, lack of trust, betrayal, and depression. Do you see that? These seeds are planted there right in the middle of the deck. However, somebody is wanting a new start with you. Look at that Ace of Cups. Look at this Fool card. They're wanting this new start and this page of swords indicates that they've been watching you because they're thinking to themselves, who is this marvelous person that I'm looking at? This know-it-all of a Libra. I didn't think that you were the know-it-all. I was going to put it on somebody else. Apparently it's you. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. That's just the energy of Libra. This person wants to transform from this energy, the King of Wands energy, into this King of Wands energy in order to suit you. This person used to be this person with somebody else. Used to be a lot more flamboyant, a lot more of what people, you know, talked about as showy. But their, their spark and their fire is really with you. Let's see what's going on with your cards, Libra. You're wishy-washy. Yeah, you're not quite sure. You haven't had a stable connection with someone in a while, it seems. Not with that knight of wands in that position. You seem to be, uh, yeah, definitely unsure. Look at you, the scales, trying to make a decision. Uh, you feel a bit imbalanced to me. Uh, you, you just seem unsure. You, you, you don't trust that your love life is going to do miraculous things because it has been in and out and you have been in and out with people. Let's see. 
Oh, that's you. Right. Well, you're centering yourself, aren't you? That's the justice card. And, you know, you're trying to decide what's right for you. You're trying to regain your karmic balance. There's something here with your karmic balance that you're trying to regain. Wow. Okay. All right. To be honest with you, you're off on an adventure. I hate to put it so bluntly, but we're running out of time. You're, you're definitely off on an adventure. Um, for this to come out, you're manifesting something right now. You're probably in a hole. Like I, like I'm telling you, you feel stuck. You feel you're in your hole. You're by yourself. Things are not really happening with you, your person, your love life, whatever, sometimes. And you're manifesting something, trying to regain your balance. Remember who you are. Your person feels stuck or your love life feels stuck, but you too are actually bringing something to fruition. Um, you're working on not being the overgiver, thinking about your past. Look at that six of cups energy. For some of you, the manifestation will be somebody you already know. For others of you, it could be somebody new. Um, yeah. I, you know, the cards are speaking at this point. They're taking over. This is literally a brand new beginning. Your person had that as well. Ace of Cups. So you do have a brand new beginning. I mean, it's just confirming everything I've just said. Ace of Cups. Aces are always new beginnings in tarot. You have to be careful, though, because when you spent a lot of time isolating yourself and not really um, getting the attention you deserve and you finally get it, you suddenly become obsessive. So you want to watch that because you have gone through many cycles now of beginnings and endings. Something is coming to you very hard and fast. I can't, you can't make this up. I told you, I told you already. I don't know what, what else you want me to say. I see commitment coming towards you. It's a brand new beginning with a very interesting person. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be. Are you joking? Okay, now we're just, now the cards are just showing off. The emperor sticking out and coming out that way. Come on. Obviously, you're the empress. The cards are basically, you know, like they're like a pet. They're trying to confirm what I'm saying. The cards are basically saying uh that this person is your divine counterpart you, you know why because the empress represents uh libra in tarot doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl your emperor apparently wants to really show off in this reading for whatever reason uh and wants to tell you that in time look at that the patience the time more karmic energy more major arcana cards in time guess what guess what yet again with the card showing off yet again guess what's happening do you know what this is? This is somebody approaching you in love. Do you know who this is? This is your person. The cards did it, not me. You're watching this live or in real time. This is your person. That's how it goes, darling. Um, when you have somebody approaching you and you both are showing this Ace of Cups, uh, the cards are saying in due time, your soulmate, the person whom you've been seeing in your dreams because you have intuition is actually being manifested, right? With this magician card, as you're centering yourself, um, you will find that in your solitude and in your wisdom that you're actually manifesting the right person. Now, you two will have similar energies. I don't think you will feel like anything is going to happen, you know, on the onset. Um, and you're probably feeling that way right now. If you have somebody in mind, you probably feel a bit stuck with that hang to man energy on both of your sides. The cards are warning you to remember that in your pursuit of commitment, right? Even if you are married or engaged or committed to this person, or this person has been committed before, or you have, or you could be committed to each other, whatever the case is, in your pursuit of commitment, try not to get obsessive, try not to get worried, try to find your balance at all times, because that seems to be a major issue for you. That is your toxic trait, is your getting out of balance, being obsessive, and not attracting energy to yourself that is stable. Um, the cards are saying they want you to pick somebody who is just like the emperor, your divine counterpart, and who will be stable. Both of you will find passion, ace of wands energy. There's passion here and a physical attraction that cannot be beaten. You want to pay attention to that. Um, and you want to release whatever is in your past, cut it out, uh, that you keep harping on or going back to so that you can win. This is a card of winning six of wands energy, and this is you being represented in your person's um 
outlook right now. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Um, I do believe things are changing in your person's life and in yours. I think your person has the foresight to see all of that. Um, you know, they are very much, I think, attuned and ready for the next phase of their life. Um, they're trying to use their wisdom. And in many instances, they've tried to communicate certain things to you because it seems like this person cares about you. Their next decision will be a reflection of just how much. They're trying to be wise about it. They know they feel something there, but they have to be wise about what their next steps are because the wheel of fortune turning in their favor is going to take them to the next stage of their life. Really, that should be accompanied by the chariot. And for some reason, it is not. Um, instead is it's accomplished, it's accompanied by a new beginning, right, ace of swords, the devil and the pentacles, right, right, um, this person may grow slightly obsessed with money, you know, fortune is coming in their way and they're going to have a choice between who is best, yeah, mm-hmm, they're going to have a choice and a decision to make about whom they're most compatible with as they go on their journey to accomplish whatever it is they want to accomplish in their life. Uh, yeah, there's a brand new beginning coming. Look at that, the full card. It's going to take everything from them. It's going to take, um, you know, a leap of faith. It might even take cutting you off. It might take cutting somebody off. If it's not you, it's somebody because their journey is going to require this independence there, right? Um, with that showing up, they're trying to use their sound judgment, which makes sense, doing what's right for them and for others in their life. Um, and, oh my God, wow. I'm a bit stunned by this spread. Who is this? This is a rags to riches story. This is somebody who's trying to balance out their life and their love. This is a work-life balance. They don't want to feel stuck. They feel like they've come from meager means, from nothing. And in their dreams, they're hoping to accomplish something and they will fight for it. And it has to be the way they've envisioned it. If it's love, they want it the right way. If it's money, they want it abundantly. And this person seems to love somebody in their life who is maternal. Could be a mother figure, could be a sister figure. Um, that person is influencing this person's choices and decisions. This person could also be traveling soon. But either way, it seems like with this marriage card showing up, this person is very serious about choosing the correct partner. And they're remembering the wise words of their either mother, sister, cousin, somebody maternal, like a grandmother, some sort of figure of that sort. Um, yeah, you two may have gone through several cycles together. There could be a closure issue that's sort of still looming in this equation. Um, and you feel to me like you are batting off any detection around it. You don't want anybody to detect what's going on. You're watching your person very closely and trying to determine, um, <laughs> what is going on if you're with this person you're very close to a conversation about marriage and long-term connection 
uh, very close to a conversation about longevity. If you're not with this person, something hurts. You're either hurting to see them with someone else or do something else outside of you and you're in fear of a permanent exit. Yeah, with that eight of cups just kind of springing out. Don't be stressed about it. The cards are showing a little bit of stress. For some of you, the cards are saying, no, this was a straight up breakup. Uh, uh, <laughs> and yet for others of you, uh, you've not spoken with this person. You've kind of gone into your shell. So what we're trying to do now is sort of figure out, oh, Jesus Christ, the cards are really chatty today, talking for me. This is strategic. Well, I was just going to say, we're, we're trying to figure out a strategy and this comes out, two of wands energy, kind of trying to weigh your options and see whether you uh, want to stay in the fight with this person. I feel like a lot of times, so you're very comparative and you try to see if you measure up or that person projects that on you and makes you feel like you have to measure up. Um, you both seem to be influenced by your families in some way, shape or form or your communities. There are people around you that seem to give you, what is this? Okay, so I was going to say the people around you that seem to give you great influence. Uh, this card was kind of calling my attention. It's an ace of pentacles. Do you have a new job offer coming up? It's something that you don't know about yet. Your future will change. There's a, yeah, there's a wild card here in terms of something being ma manifested in the heavens. Um, so you might be very sad to leave one thing in order for a new thing to happen. Um, that's, it's a wild card. I felt it. It's a wild card. You don't see it yet. But you might remember this video when it happens. Uh, it's a wild card coming to you. It's blocked by the moon. Sometimes these cards do that. Just they want to predict something, but they're blocking something as well. So there's something being blocked here. And I do see you leaving and being very sad. You have to leave because of this opportunity. Yep. Another ace coming out. This is businessmanship, businessmanhood. Sorry. Um, and I see you leaving eight of cups energy. Uh, however, it won't, it won't, the sadness won't last for always. Yeah. It's something that you have to do to stabilize yourself. And um, stability is important, not just for you, but for your person and for your relationship moving forward. what why did i start with you that's so weird i never start on that why well, really i wouldn't say never i do start on you sometimes but i typically will start with your person i i think the cards were guiding me and i wasn't paying attention <laughs> all right well there's you uh solo single as a pringle independent doing your own thing minding your own business it's not that's not a bad thing Singledom is very healthy and, you know, it gives one an opportunity to reflect and think about oneself. Uh, and that's exactly what you're doing, Sagittarius. Your person's hiding something or hiding themselves from you. They're not trying to show face anytime soon. Um, though they are hiding from you, they are around other people, celebrating, doing the needful, socializing, getting work done and staying out of your line of vision why is this happening why are you two avoiding each other let's see oh well shoot dang okay well that's that's about being definitely blocked not letting you in right now two of swords energy keeping you out um certainly thinking about you though so this is a facade the king of wands energy represents Aries and uh, Leo and Sag, but let me tell you, it definitely represents Sag more than any of those other signs. It's really primarily Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody who 
sometimes bites off more than they can chew. They want the best of everything. Very luxurious type of individual. They want the best. They envy the best. They go for the best. But sometimes they're hiding truths about why they can't do what it is that they've promised. So there's an out of veneer here and out of shell that this person carries. I see that also in how blocked they are emotionally. Um, and they compare themselves with other people. This person may also be aware that you have other options and other choices. There are two possible options and this person knows about that. So it doesn't look like they're speaking right now. It doesn't look like they are giving a lot to the situation. It looks like they're giving other people the energy that you would like for them to give to you. And as soon as I say that, another three comes out. There we go with that three of pentacles energy just coming out and your person knowing it, your person feeling like they need to hide their feelings for you and whatever's going on in the presence of other people. But guess who's coming back? Knight of Cups energy. Whenever you want it, if you wanted it, this person would always be at your disposal. It's just that they're being strong right now because they feel like they have to. They feel like they don't want to interfere with whatever it is that's going on in your life. They want to keep it moving. They want to be sincere to you, helpful to you, and they want to avoid hurting you. And that's fair enough, isn't it? You also have this feeling like you need a break from love and from relationships because it tends to go in and out when it comes to you. For some reason, you've tried to strategize your love life so that you can get a better outcome. This one wants to say something. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Are you joking? <sighs> okay, here we go. I guess this is why we read tarot. You guys say all this crap. And at the end of the day, you're still going to deal with each other. So why are we wasting time? You're still invested in this person. This person is still invested in you. You're still emotionally connected. You're trapped inside of each other. Eventually, if you... Let me see what's at the bottom. Okay, so you feel stuck. You feel... You present solo. You present very independently to the world. But deep down inside, yeah, something's going on. I think you two are hiding something. I actually, you should pull the moon too. I don't think it's just your person. Yes, right. I realize both of you are not speaking right now. You're in hermit mode. I do realize that. I do realize that you're focusing on your coin. You're probably missing this person a little bit. Even if they're in your life, you're still feeling like they're things that could be better. You feel like this person is probably your soulmate. You feel there's something here that feels quite sad. But I feel both of you are sort of putting on a show. I feel that you two feel that you have to be strong about something about a reason that you can't be together. I don't know what that reason is. So you are presenting very um, singly. <laughs> you know, you're, 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 you're presenting very independently, but you have somebody in mind, right? What I mean is that when people see you, they see somebody who's very independent, self-sustaining. Um, but in truth, you actually have somebody in mind, um, you have other suitors, Sag. I don't, I don't understand. You don't want to open up to anybody else. There are other people interested in you. You've pulled so many nights, but you're obsessed with one person. Look at that. Look at that devil card coming out. It's either the person you want or it's nobody. Oh, there we go. You know, it's funny because as both of you are doing whatever it is that you're doing, in your isolation and in your pretending to be strong for whatever reason, for whatever reason you can't be together, you're actually thinking about each other and you feel like the only karmic justice that you can have right now, my darling, is if you fall in love with the right person, Saj. It's killing you. Your love life is uh, something. <laughs> Just said that. Wow, these guys are funny. Well, listen, you've also pulled this at the bottom. So... I know that both of you are trying to operate from a place of wisdom. The King of Swords is very wise and he tries to do the needful. He tries to do what is right for not just himself, 
but for other people. So I think both of you right now are in a state where you feel like you're not just doing whatever it is you're doing, whether it's isolating, not speaking, whatever it is. You're not just doing that for yourselves, but you feel like it's a noble cause. You feel like you're doing it for the good of each other uh, and for the sake of this relationship. You're going to be approaching each other in love uh, quite soon. And if you do not do that, then I believe that you will remain obsessed with this person, in love with this person. It will hurt a little bit and you might remain stuck. So I think you're in a bit of danger here. If action is not taken, if this balance that you are seeking does not happen, you might experience a complete slowdown in love and you might go back and forth with too many people, not really deciding on anyone and just ending up in a place of utter singularity. 